Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Muslim Gaming, and we're going to talk today about installing mods in Mech Warrior 5. Almost all my playthrough now, playthroughs now deal with, with modded versions of one way or the other. That does not mean that the vanilla game is bad. It isn't. The vanilla game is excellent. However, replayability loves variety, right? Whatever you can change or play with or add to is always good. Um, but don't feel like you need mods to have a good time in Mech Warrior 5. You will almost certainly be able to have a great time your first few play playthroughs through um, through Mech Warrior. Especially, especially if you've got friends that play and you can play with some co-op. That's a great way to add just hours and hours and hours of replayability. So mods are not essential. However, if you would like to install them, we're here to talk about that. Now. Epic did add a mod store workshop um, similar to the Steam workshop for MechWarrior. Uh, the MechWarrior 5 developers were happy to do that. Um, in fact, they know, I'm sure, if you ask them, that modding was going to be essential to the long-term viability and replayability of the game. And uh, even though, you know, they didn't, they didn't make things as easy as they could have, um, they didn't go out of their way to make things difficult. Uh, and so, you know, for that, we can be thankful for them. Now, you do have to have a fair amount of programming knowledge, as far as I can tell, to deal within the system itself to build the mods. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So let's take a look real fast at our options within the game. So we can go ahead and we can go to explore mods. And uh, it's going to bring up a window of stuff here that you can see. Um, and there's going to be a number of mods here. The problem is that most mod authors, there's actually a fair amount of stuff here, but most mod authors didn't have a great time um, using the store. Some of that may be legitimate. Some of that is simply political. Everybody decided to hate Epic. Um, how dare they fight against Steam? Don't they know Steam is the monopoly we all love and dream? Okay, my politics aside, um, a lot of people just didn't like Epic. Um, their reasons are their reasons, most of which I disagree with, but... Uh, they're legitimate. Their opinion's every bit as legitimate as mine. And so they didn't want to support this. Um, and I think there were also some technical, just kind of pain in the ass to get stuff uploaded on multiple platforms. People just didn't want to jump through hoops to get it on Epic, to get it on Nexus, to get it on Steam, to get it wherever it else they wanted to put it. And so they just didn't put it here. So your options on Epic at the end of the day are somewhat limited. And many of those are limited even more because the last DLC broke all previous mods. I'm pretty sure all of them. I, I, that might be a, that might be slightly excessive, but it ain't far off. And so, the mods that were there were often not updated. A lot of mod authors by that point had lost in, lost interest in the game, or just decided things were just too hard to get working again after the DLC. And so, a lot of what's here isn't worth pulling up, and it's just it's just old. Some of it is stuff that's still being worked on, but I don't know if it's still being worked on and uploaded here. So, instance, better spawns 2.0. That's an active mod uh, that I have installed at the moment on mine, but I did not install it through here. Um, it just, again, just like it's a pain to have to upload to various things, it's a pain to have to go to download from various places. Ideally, everybody would have used this. It would be fine. But I would say, for most purposes, just ignore the mod store on Epic. It, it was done with good intentions. It was done with love, but it just didn't work out. So... Let's go ahead and show, I'll show you how I do install my mods. I happen to use Nexus Mods. Now, Nexus Mods is somebody else that's pissed off a lot of people lately, and so you'll find that there are a lot of mod authors that no longer update or update very infrequently onto Nexus. And as such, you'll need to go to their Discord or other place of download hosting um, to get their stuff. Now, most of them have updated at least uh, the description of within their mod, even if they're not updating here, to point you to that that new spot, their Discord or wherever it happens to be. So you still have to jump through some hoops occasionally, but it is what it is. Now, um, you can go to games. Uh, I have Mech Warrior here saved as one of my games. Um, from there, you can go to mods right here. Here you go. Here's Better Spawns right here. We were just talking about that one. So from here, if I wanted Better Spawns, um, I would go to Manual Download, 
It's going to give me two options, one of which is free and one of which you can pay for. Um, I happen to be a mod author for another game, so I have a slightly in-between account. I do not have a premium account, but I do have an account that is uploaded for mod author. So mine's a little bit different than maybe yours is, but I have the same options to download as you do. And you can see here, we've got a betterspawns.7z, so a 7-zip. Um, you'll find uh, regular zip files, you'll find 7-zip, you'll find RAR, you'll probably find some other stuff. Um, regular zip files are easier to deal with, for reasons we'll talk about in a moment. Uh, we'll go ahead and download this one real quick though. Um, there we go. I'm gonna download another mod. Um, the mods that I use a lot to me to keep track of, to make sure that I'm updated, I have the newest thing, you can go ahead and uh, we'll look at tabletop rules here real fast. Um, you can track that mod. You can see mine says tracking. Uh, and so now if I go to tracked over here under, uh, under mods, it'll list everything I have tracked. And if there's an update like this one, it'll tell me there's an update and I know I can go ahead and download it. But let's go to tabletop rules, it's not a big one. Uh, and we'll go ahead and manually download this one as well. Uh, and I want this one. And we'll go to the slow download. And there we go. I actually downloaded and updated this one this morning. So we've got an extra copy of it there. So. Once that's done, what we can do is we can go ahead and we'll bring up a directory file here, which will hopefully uh, let me do another window capture. That's probably the easiest way to do this. Let me do, um, and now we'll just copy it over here. That's fine. I have multiple monitors and the monitor I have in front of me happens to be a widescreen monitor, which I, uh, isn't 19 by 20 by 1080, so it makes it a pain to record for the rest of y'all. All right, so what we can do now is uh, we go to our downloads. We know we've got these downloads here. Let's take a look at uh, tabletop rules. So I'm just gonna extract all, I'm using Windows 11 by the way, so your extract all may be different. You might have to right click it um, and get to that. There are different options now the way things show up, but we'll just hit extract all, um, we'll browse, and where we want to go is, I will go all the way back to the beginning here. You want to go to wherever your Epic directory is. Mine happens to be in the default location on this computer in C, Program Files. Uh, and then we go to Epic Games. We find MechWarrior, uh, which is right here. Let me rotate this over a little bit so I can see it a little closer. Um, so MechWarrior 5, MechWarrior 5 Mercs, MechWarrior 5 Mercs, and then Mods. You may have to create this directory. Um, by default, the mods directory is not created when you install the game. So if that's the case, just right click, new directory, um, name it mods, and you'll be good. So we're going to extract our folder to here. We selected it. We're going to the MechWarrior 5, MechWarrior 5 mods. There we go. We'll replace it. Perfect. Now, if I wanted to, I uh, should not have closed that. Let's go to downloads again. Now that works really well for just regular zip files. Uh, .rar and 7-zip files are a little bit different. Um, and so let's go ahead and we'll go show more options. This is a lot easier in, in Windows 10 than Windows 11. But we, we've got, I've got 7-zip installed. So I want to extract these files. And now we'll go ahead and, and it, you've got to, you can extract it to wherever you want. Um, I'm gonna just extract it to downloads for right now because it's simplest to get the extraction done. And so here we go. Here's our tabletop rules extracted. Now, the thing is 7-zip and RAR create an additional directory on top of everything else. We don't want this directory. So if we were to have copied this in to the mods directory just as is and extracted there, like we did with the other zip file, um, we'd have an extra directory involved. So we wanna go into this grab this directory right here, the one without all the, 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 the hashtag stuff, whatever it is on top of there. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna cut, copy, paste, however you wanna do it. And from there, we'll go to our uh, C drive, program files, Epic Games, MW5 Mercs, MW5 Mercs, mods, and we'll paste. We'll replace it. And there we go. You don't want to have more than one folder between you and the actual information, the packs and this mod.json. Uh, this is the important one. So if you get the one from a 7-zip or a RAR file, it's got all the extra stuff, 
the game will not see it. It's it's it, it's only looking in w- one uh, directory down to find this mod.json. I, I hope that makes sense. So once you've got all of that done, then you can go ahead and you can open the game. And we'll uh, get the game open here in a second. I'm running Merc Tech at the moment. I'm not running everything that makes Merc Tech happy. You won't have this pop up. So once you get in here, you go into mods. And in fact, we can we can undo Merc Tech here, um, so you can kind of see what happens. Once you do that, any mod you install is not automatically going to have this checkbox in front of it. You're going to need to come in here and either enable or disable any mod you want to use. Now, if the game sees a conflict, it will tell you. It'll say conflicts with another mod. You can hit this little carrot over here, drop it down, and it tells you we have two different conflicts. Uh, Tabletop rules is overriding this asset, and pilot overhaul is adding this asset. Sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it's going to break. It's up to you to figure that out in a lot of cases. Now, oftentimes the mod authors on the Nexus page will say, look, this is compatible with this or this, or hey, we didn't try to make it compatible with anything. Use at your own risk. Some of this can be changed with the mod order that things put into. There are mods in there that lets you change the order of the mods. By default, they have their own priority that is baked in when the mod author creates the mod that tells them what order they need to be loaded. Um, So sometimes that can get you through. That's more than we're going to dive into in this episode, though. Um, but understand that it will tell you if it thinks there's a conflict, and it's kind of up to you to decide if that that conflict is meaningful or not, or if that's something you're willing to live with. So I'm going to turn off Merc Tech and Merc Tech Compatibility Pack right now. Whatever you have made the changes you want to make, go ahead and hit Apply. It's going to say, "Go." do you want to? You're going to have to restart your game client for that to apply. So now we can go ahead and quit. We'll restart the game. We come in, we shouldn't get that pop-up window because we've actually turned off a mod rather than turned one on. Uh, But either way, um, whenever you either enable or disable a mod, you will have to restart the game to get it to take uh, take effect. So we're in the process here of restarting it again. So we'll give it just a second. Maybe, maybe a couple seconds. I don't want to edit this, so we're talking through it, darn it. We'll just keep talking, so I don't have to do anything. Uh, and we'll get that there, so that all works. Um, notice we did not get the pop-up this time, saying that we didn't have cockpit glass enabled. Um, and we can go here, and it's off. So from here, we could go ahead, we could start our game, a single player, downloadable, whatever we want to do. Um, your DLCs are accessed there. Now, if you are downloading stuff from the Epic Store, it creates a different mod folder. It'll be called Epic Mods, I believe. So it will create its own Epic Mods folder. So if you had downloaded some stuff and you just want to clean it out um, and you're having trouble getting rid of it from there, you can go into MechWarrior 5 Merc, MW5 Mercs, MW5 Mercs, Epic Mods, and just delete the whole directory if you want or delete the contents of it. And that stuff will no longer um, show up either in the Epic Store when you go to Mods, Manage Mods, or here. I hope that helps. Um, I, I would love to say just use this here. Um, unfortunately, um, it just didn't get the support it needed to be viable, in my opinion. So, is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great time. And I hope you enjoy MechWarrior 5. If you do, come back, drop me a line on the channel. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, if there's any mods or anything that you really, in, that you discover you think are amazing that I need to know about, let me know about that too. Uh, we're always looking for content for the channel. It may be that we haven't done it. Um, we've got over 300 videos from MechWarrior 5 in the playlist already, so you can go all the way back to beta. Um, we've done some AI stuff that's no longer of any point because they've completely changed the way the AI works. Uh, but, uh, but there's stuff there. There's plenty to dive into. Currently, we're playing a Merc Tech uh, save through as uh, as I record this right now. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.